All right, guys, the week started for me on a Sunday this week. And the reason being is I took off work on Saturday from my normal job because I thought we were going to be working on the engine. Uh, the parts did not show up, so I decided to take advantage of that and uh, do some mowing on Sunday. I have uh, three office parks that I mow, and it is a lot easier mowing them on, uh, on the weekend when nobody is there than it is during the week. Uh, normally, I don't get this chance because I'm working, but uh, I wanted to take advantage of this. I also wanted to get a head start on the week because it was scheduled to rain uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and uh, it did. It rained a lot. The ground here is really, really wet. So I'm glad I got the head start and uh, actually got a lot of stuff done uh, this Sunday that I mowed. I mowed, uh, I mowed two office parks. I mowed uh, five and seven houses. So uh, that's pretty good. In about six, seven hours, I think I worked. I'm not, I'm not for sure. I didn't really keep track, but uh, you know, uh, this is just a little, uh, little section of an office park that I do. And uh, it's a really good office park, you know, to mow. It's really easy. There's nothing really, really hard about it. And uh, the, with the boys, it usually takes me, or it takes us somewhere, probably about an hour, 15 minutes or so, uh, maybe an hour. Uh, I haven't really timed it. That's something I want to do in the future is to start timing our properties and see how long it takes. But. Uh, I think this one here took me about two hours or so, two and a half hours maybe, by myself to mow. And that's mow, trim, edge, roll off, everything. So uh, it's not the biggest office park in the world, but it is, uh, it is decent size and uh, there's a lot to mow. So. All right, I'm sitting here weeding around these rocks and I see that. That's a big snake. It's kind of hard to see, but underneath the leaves there, you can see he's fatter than that. And I literally had the weed eater right on top of him and he ain't moving. I wonder if he's dead already or he's just playing possum or something. I've seen snakes by these rocks before, but never anything this big. So, I kind of want to see how big he is. Not sure if I want to kill him or not, really, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I got, I went and got a uh, old blade, trimmer blade, or a mower blade. I'm going to see if I can't get him out of there. See if we can't see how big this sucker is. Oh, he's definitely alive. I've seen him moving. You can see him back in there, too. There he goes. He's in the water. See him? See him? Woo! That was a big one. I know some of you guys probably see a lot bigger than that on a daily basis, but around here, that's pretty big. So I don't even know what kind it was. I'm sure a lot of you guys could probably tell me. 
Hopefully I got them on camera pretty good. I think so. I think so. Whew. I was trying to I was trying to get them back up on the bank, but really didn't want to mess with them too much, to be honest with you. On the bright side, look at those stripes over there. Those are not mine. So what'd you guys what you guys do this weekend? I worked and then I helped Zach with his truck and then I worked and then I helped Zach with his truck. What'd you do to your truck? Replace the clutch. Replace the clutch. I took all weekend because it turns out the transmission in my truck is about the size of that Chevy Cruze is driving by right now. <laughs> That's and then you broke the you broke your gear shift. Yeah. <laughs> This is not a good time. Here's all upset. He's like, man, I got to work for in the morning. He slammed it in gear and snapped it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. He's like, what's the cheapest thing I can break to get me out of work on Friday? I really wouldn't Here it is. <laughs> Slam this. I was pretty pissed about that. I was even more pissed that it's $100 for a little plastic handle. Really? Yeah. It's got a button in it. Come on now. Yeah. I'll use my old button. Wow. So they can have that part. Well, we're kind of in go mode today. It's supposed to rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Like 80, 90% each day. By go mode, we mean quick trip time. Look at her. She's so heavy. Cleaning her window. She is, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, I think there's a, there's a dog in the back. She's looking at it. Gotta have, She's gotta have food to, to mow lawns. All right, we gotta go get something to eat. We haven't ate breakfast yet. Be right, we'll be right back. What's up? We are back. I got the honey chicken biscuit. Hunter was hoping for some breakfast pizza. Had to settle for what'd you get? Got a slice of pepperoni, a slice of supreme, and three cheese sticks. Three cheese sticks. And apparently, Zach fell in the bathroom in the toilet i think uh zach's got to make some room for his lunch so but that gives us time to kind of eat i was just telling him since i had saturday off because i thought we were going to work on the engine but the parts weren't here so me and my wife ended up taking my kids and a friend of theirs to uh to a movie paul blart number two mall cop the dumbest movie ever made if I wasn't if I wasn't actually at the movies with my kids I would have left <laughs> it was that bad normally those stupid funny movies like that you know usually you might get a laugh or two out of them not this one Zero laughs. Zero laughs giving, given at they, that movie. They ain't got nothing on a top-notch truck talk. No. It's got some laughs in it. I would have much rather watched top-notch truck talk than Paul Blart Mall Cop number 47. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just swoop. The, the proper way to eat string cheese. Can't be one of those guys that just eats it. You have to peel it apart. All right, guys, so here's the backyard that I do. Uh, it's recently got a fence put up, which makes it a little bit more challenging, but uh, it's still one of the funner backyards that I do. Uh, the grass is really nice. It stripes really well, and it's kind of big, so, uh, you know, the stripes just look really well on this one. And uh, as you can see, my X mark is still down. So one of the, one of the things I've been doing to get by is uh, I've been mowing with my walker, which is not quite as fast as the X mark, but in a pinch it will do. And on the stuff that you don't, that I don't have to normally bag, uh, I just been leaving the box open. And it works out really well for me, you know, it's really don't notice a difference when you're done. Uh, you know, the only thing you got to worry about is uh, the chute is a lot higher, you know, in the box 
than on a uh, walk behind or a ZTR where it's down by the ground. So when you're going around a house or a car or anything like that, you have to be really, really careful because it, it sprays up high. The grass sprays high. So you just gotta be careful not to spray a house because it will just go all over the side of the house or a car or whatever you're close to. But, you know, for, for this backyard, it works out perfectly and I used it in a couple other places that I, I don't have to bag. And uh, like I said, it's not as fast as the X mark, but uh, in a pinch, it does the trick really well. So this backyard, you know, like I said, guys, it's, uh, it's pretty good size, as you can probably tell on camera. But, uh, you know, it's really, really fun to mow because we can, we put some, uh, put a lot of different designs in this backyard over the last year and a half or so. And uh, it just looks really well. The grass is really green. It's always green. This is one of the properties that's on a, uh, on a well. So there's no water restrictions or nothing. So this grass gets watered and uh, you can tell it looks really well, I think. Watched, I watched a video of Johnny Moe yesterday about uh, mowing efficiency. We, we've actually been talking for a couple weeks now. We wanted to do a, a video on uh, teamwork being a cohesive unit. And uh, I guess it kind of plays into efficiency, but uh, that's one thing we're going to touch on maybe this week, more than likely next week, because we're kind of in a hustle this week because it's supposed to rain. But I uh, want to kind of touch on that a little bit because it, uh, especially guys that, uh, I know you solo guys don't really care about that kind of stuff, but eventually you might have guys or there might be a lot of guys that watch this channel that are, you know, actually working with, for somebody else and they haven't started their business yet. So just some things we think are helpful. In case you all didn't know, it's a newer, Five pounds lighter Zach in the back seat. Yeah. All right. Probably ten pounds. Everything come out all right? Wood does not simply eat Taco Bell. <laughs> huh. Huh. Just look at that. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. They're both Toms too. They're both Toms. Look at It's kind of odd. Good morning. Good morning, Zachary. Hi. How you doing? Tired. Tired? 
Well, we're gonna do some maintenance on the equipment today. Got the little gravely out here. Gonna do some maintenance. There's the hybrid. That's a bad boy right there. Bad boy. But the sooner we get this maintenance done, the sooner I can uh, start whipping some butt at some ping pong. Kill him. <laughs> He's got jokes. Just got a new ping pong table. Neighbor gave it to me. They didn't want it no more, so it's on. Brian decided he needs something to get beat at. So, so we're going to do some maintenance. Still got. Uh, Are we going to do maintenance? We're going to do maintenance. On the equipment? Still got this one. Engine's apart. I haven't really done anything to it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to change some oil, sharpen some blades, grease some fittings, and we're going to clean that one up. That way when I get the gaskets later on today, tomorrow morning, we can... Now you gotta do that. <gasps> Alright, so we're doing the cleanup. We decided to go buy a pressure washer. Much needed. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. So, I went and got one. Check it out. It's a Got the Briggs 8.75. It's definitely not the uh, most expensive or fanciest one, but it'll do the job for us. I don't care. What's that? Small engine oil. It's astronaut food. Astronaut food. It's all in a bag, son. It's all in a bag. I thought that was going to be like a lot longer. No. It all right, so we got her put together. Hunter's gonna give it the first pull. Let's do it. Might take a couple. All right guys, it's Friday. I'm in my garage. We're getting ready to put the engine back together. I got the parts, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday afternoon. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't get this thing running. You know, uh, this week I did not record a whole lot. And you know, the reason why is cause you know, we were, we were in go mode all week. So I knew it was gonna rain. It's rained for the last three days. It's supposed to rain for another day or two. So, uh, the days are actually turning out to be not so bad, but the ground is just so wet, guys. I'd rather, you know, I, I'm pretty much caught up, but even if I wasn't, I wouldn't be mowing just, just for the fact that, you know, you, you don't want to rut up somebody's yard, man. You don't want to tear up somebody's yard. Uh, let the grass grow another couple, two or three days. It's not going to be that big a deal. Uh, you might have to do some double cuts, uh, or you might have to bag or whatever, but, you know, it's a small price to pay to keep a customer happy. So, you know, don't don't try to don't try to get out on somebody's yard when it's wet just because you want to get it done and you're falling behind. Okay, that stuff. I know it's kind of nerve wracking, and it is for me sometimes too. You know, you got a lot of stuff to do, and it's raining, and you don't know what to do. But you know, think of the big picture. Think of the big picture when you're talking about somebody's yard. Okay, you, you don't want to rut it up. You don't want to put well marks in the yard, and it's really really easy to do no matter if you do everything right, three point turn, everything right, there's still a good chance you're gonna mess up somebody's yard just cause it's so wet, so soggy, so soft. So uh, with that being said guys, uh, we're gonna try to put this engine back together and uh, 
cross your fingers <laughs> I'm hoping it goes well I really do and uh, you know I really really appreciate you guys watching my videos I do I'm having a blast with this channel uh, I've said that before but it is the honest to God truth I'm having so much fun making these videos and I, I appreciate uh, you guys watching I appreciate your comments and for everybody that shares my videos I really appreciate that as well that helps me out but uh, you know it was another another decent week you know I made uh, made some good money and we got we got a lot of yards cut so you know with that being said we are going to put an engine together hopefully and it's gonna be all good thank you guys for watching bye